<clears throat> Welcome back, KCOG here. This is Leonard of the Lakes Part 11. So, we're at the cliff bottom catacombs that we just found. Let's do the thing, actually. Before we continue, we are not, whoops, we're not getting any invasions, so <clears throat> kind of want to make that happen. I don't know how well it's going to work for this build, but uh, we're going to try. Got some decent skills. Let's turn on our lantern here. So immediately, we're getting uh, ambushed. It's hard to remember all the ambushes, all the people in this game, because it, it's so there's so much to do, there's so much going on. So, the way I go through dungeons is, if you're really scared, just keep that guard up. You can actually run with it too, if you're you know bent out of shape or whatever. But um. Look at that, there's someone here to help if we want help. Uh, we're gonna do this solo. I just, I don't know, I enjoy solo more. I'm hoping someone will uh, <clears throat> come see us. And I'm hoping they drop one of their little weapons there. That would be cool. I think I wanna do a Flambridge build sometime here. I was looking at cool videos and it seems fun. Right, <clears throat> give me a second. father-in-law on the uh, <coughs> thingy there on the TV to say likely east yeah okay mm -hmm. so we're in a interesting predicament we're gonna have to go down but you can see the levers over there I remember this dungeon now it is kind of tricky you can actually drop down again once we get down the stairs I thought there was someone over here. So you can drop down again. There's a big guy down there, so let's test them out here. Oh. Apparently you can just cheese this guy if you want. It's not so bad. Keep on going though. Oh, trap. Oh. So he has that bleed weapon I'm talking about. See our, our status effect bar right there? That particular one is bleed. And I really want a mask to drop. I want that hook to drop. Or I want the big sword to drop honestly. Hey! Fuck yeah! We finally got someone to invade. Awesome. Let's make sure we're full. Oh, there's a fog wall up there. Let's go up first. Just to make sure because I think there's a big boy up here. Yep. So now he's gonna take <laughs> increased damage and he's done we find out we find our first invader well not our first but And we roll caught him. Look at that. GG, bitch. Roll catching is an art. I will say that right now. You kind of have to... Okay. 
let me break this battle down since the music is going crazy and we're <laughs> whatever all right so what I did was storm stomp him right <clears throat> to get him to kind of either jump roll do he has to do an action or he's gonna get frostbitten and that's how it goes it's gonna get damaged and our frost bar is gonna start building up usually enemies get a little triggered by that they say their bar building up they're like what is that shit right so <clears throat> He came at us, so I hit him, but if you hit him and you just if you just keep smashing R1, he's gonna roll away from you. And these are real people, right? You get if you got the hit off, you need to kinda wait a second. And in these animations, you can wait for a long time before it actually is too late to hit again. So, um, something to keep in mind. You're gonna have to play with it, but um, PvP is an art. Roll catching is an art. And once you got someone on the ropes, you kind of want to keep them there. Wow, that kind of just worked. Out. And was that crit 115 critical damage doing its thing? Was it worth it? Ah, uh, meh, meh. Whatever. New gear, sure. We got the Nox Mirror Helm, which is going to increase <laughs> uh, vitality focus and immunity greatly and all the resistances greatly to um, spells and magic fire lightning holy but not so great for the other ones helm fashioned from a crystal looking glass one among the internal city's ritual implements easily broken and weak against striking attacks which is why those are weaker uh, where uh, worn by those committed to high treason it wards off the intervention of the greater will and its vassal fingers. Okay, interesting. Interesting helm. Um, is that worth it? I don't know. Up to you. I feel like there's better ones. But we also didn't finish this part. Look at that. We got a rune arc. Awesome. So? First, uh, fun dungeon, PvPing alone. Oh, and there's another. <laughs> so the circle around trick works again. We did get hit once, but, uh, gonna get the Grave Glove Orp 2, which we already have I think but uh, that's okay don't be afraid to spam the R3 button that is a thing all right suspicious looking little outcove here I think uh, oh look we're close ah see I knew it yeah get poised locked so we can already see this guy right here. If we want to, we can just... Take him down. So that's two. Who else is around here, huh? Anyone hanging from this side? No, no. We're above where we came in, obviously. You can see we're close. We're close to getting what we want, which is that lever. Oh, look at that. Clinging from the wall. Okay, sorry about that. Father-in-law, again. Wanted to tell me he doesn't want pizza. Okay, guy. That's fine by me. You're all good. I don't care. Alright. Is this a secret wall? Oh, I guess not. Oh, wait, is that where we came from? Yeah, it is. Okay. There's another trap as you can see by the floor sometimes it's worth it to do a guard counter and sometimes 
people just uh, are lined up the right way. Like right now, why am I gonna wait for him to attack? There's no point. And, fuck yeah, we got a scythe. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, I know there's a trick to this too. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the entrance we need to go to is over there. So, <clears throat> the trick is, I think, we're gonna find out. We got the scythe. I'm pretty sure we have to go down. And that means we're gonna have to, uh, kill this baddie over here. And there's the frost damage with the extra 20% damage at work. Hey, we got a ghost glove wart 3, which is what we needed. Now, there is another baddie around here. Oh, did he see us? No, nope, he didn't see us. Let's just see if we can backstab him here. Oh, we can! Holy shit! So, I recommend frost stomp. And then keep attacking. And we got... McLovin returned home. So we got invaded and he just returned home. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I get, maybe that was the same guy and he said, Fuck that guy! I love when that happens. It's kind of... it's fun. Goes uh, Grave Glovewort 3. Um, make sure you zoom around and get what you can. It's just hilarious. It's funny. It's very funny. Soon we'll be strong enough where taking our time really won't matter. Okay, so you see the little holes. There's tricks everywhere, right? We're gonna see that there's holes here, which means there's a trap ahead. Obvious. Very obvious. Where's the trap? It's right there. You can see it on the floor. We see a big dude in the corner, but what else? What else? Anyone else? No, oh, don't look like it. But, let's use it to our advantage on this one. Oops, I meant to roll, not... Oh, he does not like... He did, uh... Hey, we got an Omen Cleaver to drop! This, we're getting lucky, this, uh... This video, this is insane. Or, last video and this video. We're just getting all the weapons. Bring it on, bring it on. Okay, that guy was a little bit more aggressive, and he did not want to poise break when we hit him. So that's something to keep in mind. That's why I did the guard counter. So I went, I hit him, and he didn't take that shit, and I went, oh, fuck. So my second line of defense is either to retreat and try a different tactic and roll, or we're going to guard counter. So I went with the guard counter. It worked out. We got the frost proc, and uh, one more hit did him in. Wait a second. Before you do anything hasty, look around. Make sure he's the only one. Alright, looks like he's the only one. Let's go ahead and do this. Thing. The frost stomp didn't work last time, so let's just do a charge attack. Look at that. 20% extra damage. We get the page ashes, which is kind of cool. That's cool. kind of makes it- oh, oh, I ran into that one. See, I fucked up on that. Alright, no item. This entire time, no, no guy gave us an item. That sucks. It's alright, we got, a uh, two weapons. We got a scythe and an omen cleaver. That's awesome. Somewhere, a door has opened. Make sure you press Y or triangle to get that off the screen, or you will be sorry. I promise you. Anyways, now we can go back to, uh, sorry, cat's over here. Come on, cat, come inside. <clears throat> now we can fight the boss. So, <laughs> because we got the, uh, invader, we got our flasks back. He didn't really fuck us up too bad. Uh, I'll, I'll do it solo, why not? Why not? You guys can add someone if you want. It makes things a lot easier, trust me. It really does. Hi, kitty. Hi. Boiled prawn. We're gonna make sure we're at max health. Oh, this guy's pretty easy. 
He's very quick. His his uh, his uh, tactics are pretty easy to see, right? Like he's jumping up. He's gonna slam down. Fire. No shit. And we still got hit anyways. Again. And again. And they're quick. And I know that, um... Hey! Hey, hey, hey. We can cycle around him. Man, he is not letting up, is he? I know he. Okay, I was just gonna say, I know he can be stunned, so. Our 115 critical strike shall, do, shall suffice. And we get the Cadence Cell Sword Ashes, which I hear is pretty good. I haven't used them myself, but, um. Yeah. That is the dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Easy day. If you wanna bypass all the stuff and miss, miss the scythe, then, uh, jump down and. Get, pull the lever you'll get the page page ashes and the Caden ashes so that's cool um i am actually astonished we got a omen cleaver to drop or an omen whatever sword we got to drop that's really cool <clears throat> i think this is the first enemies in the game that we've seen that are uh, the omen killers or whatever they're called very very cool <clears throat> So, pretty happy with that dungeon. <clears throat> and from here... What was that called? The, uh... Cliff Bottom Catacombs. Okay. All the way back up. It's kind of not worth it to drop down into Jar... Jar... I forget... Jar... Jar... I forget what the place is called. But it's, it's pretty much a place filled with people who are nice. For a change. Uh, go figure, right? There's a lot of materials to pick up. There's a lot of good shit to pick up. Um, we will be going there, but not yet because there's a quest involved. So, I will meet you back at the artist shack, and we're gonna go and do. We're gonna meet the turtle. We're gonna hopefully get this uh, earth tree. Uh, there's another catacombs up here. There, there's so much. We still never got the smithing stone dungeon. We should do that soon too, but um. Yeah, stay tuned. I will see you at the Artist Shack. Later, y'all.